Fuck that boxing. Double RT. Boxing. Mr. A here. With a post-fight recap of the Jorge Linares and Luke Campbell. Excellent. Excellent technical fight. Again, um, another fight which you could say a knockdown made the difference. I had Campbell almost pulling this off. You know, maybe if it wasn't for that last round, um, Jorge Linares won that. Because after the second round that uh, Jorge Linares dropped him with a beautiful uh, right as he as Campbell was trying to pull out, much like uh, Valdez last night was trying to pull out, and Genesis got him. Now, after the first round was just a technical, what do you got, what I got skill type of showdown. The second round, uh, Lenore has caught Campbell pulling out, got him with a right. Campbell got up kind of unfazed. And then from there on now, they're just exchanging shots. And you can see earlier in the fight, um, Campbell would throw a left to the body. And the way... Lenores was blocking it. He would block it something like, he will block it like a, he like this, but he will keep he he will roll and just leaving all this open. And I do one day. I mean, he's gonna eventually he's gonna throw that left and follow with an overhand right around, and that was round three. So around five, it started happening. Left to the body, overhand right. And he just kept hitting Lenares. Kept hitting him. Lenares' air was starting to get red. And then just, then, then just by that time, the, the length of Luke was coming in. That right jab was just dominating Lenares. So from around three to six, it was a pretty competitive fight. It was a hard round to judge. Like, oh. They both were landing shots. Uh, Luke Campbell's right jab seemed to be controlling a lot of the rounds. And around seven to to the final round, oh, I, I won't even say that. I say around ten to twelve is when Lenares really tried to he tried bringing it back, and that's when he started getting it back. Us about five to ten, Luke Campbell almost. Took control of that whole fight. He was landing cleaner shots, cleaner uh, hook check hooks, as because uh, that that length was just Laris could not get inside that length. So anytime he got close, boom, check hook or right, left to the body, right to the head, and then when he's getting close, just jabbing him, just jabbing him, jabbing him. Really good fight. This would not have surprised me at all if Luke Campbell would have. Um, Went back home to his country as a champion, but it was, like I said, this this was a great fight. Very great. It was a hard fight to score. Very hard fight to score. I would have no problem. Like I, said, I had no problem with anyone. If this was a draw, I could have lived with that one because Luke Campbell made a fantastic effort once he got off the ground, and he he made a way better effort than uh Jesse Hart. Last night, Jesse Hart got off the ground, but he was wobbled for a couple rounds after that. Luke Campbell got off the ground, man, boom, nothing happened. I'm taking over this fight for a while. And like I said, he almost won that fight to me if it wasn't for the 12th round. To me, I had the 12th round winning the whole fight for Linares. So it was a very, very competitive, very technical fight. Um... All about feet work, jabs. I said no round was clearly dominated except for round two. One, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. All technical feet work, body position and jabbing, a uh, body work. Uh, I think if maybe if Lenares would have landed more body work, it could have helped him out more, but. Every time he was going to the body, Luke Campbell was countering it, at least with a right hook or a check hook. And you, you eventually, you, you just saw um, Lenora's kind of volume and his body shots just drop. And you know, Lenora's loves to go um, from the 
from the bottom to the up to back to the bottom again. And and that what we come accustomed to, that 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 um quick speed combination, it really wasn't there because he, he just couldn't get within the, the Luke Campbell had a good reach on him. So it was a very good fight, very good fight, very good performance for the 17 and now to Luke Campbell. Um that nasty gash he has on his eyes like a good it looked like if someone just you ever get those nasty blisters on the bottom of your feet or someone you just and it pop from the from your heel on your in your shoe it looked like it was just a nasty blister like he was just both their faces looked like they were just in the sun too long like the the, the snow sun when that snow burn they they both looked like they had snow burn on their face especially luke with that cut it looked like he had snow burn a snow burn blister and it just popped but um like i said I picked L- Lenares to win. I'm happy I got a pick right, but I gained a lot of respect, and uh, I would definitely follow Luke Campbell a little more closer now. Good stuff. 2012 gold medalist. I see why. You know, I, I I didn't think he was that good from studying him. I thought he was just kind of a one one dimensional guy. He pretty much is a kind of a one dimensional guy, but he's really good at what he does. Really good. I, I didn't think he had that type of countering ability in him. But he did, so this is uh I follow him more often. This is double RT boxing. Once again, Jorge Linares retains his uh WBC 135 title over Luke Campbell. And after the fight, he called out Mikey Garcia. He goes, I'll fight him at 135. If he wants to go to 140, I'll fight him at 140. That's what he wants next. Uh leave in the comment section down below. Who do you got winning? Jorge Linares or Mikey Garcia? Thumbs up. Thanks for the support, people. This is uh, Double RT Boxing, Mr. A. Saying thanks for that support. I'm out.